this is Judge Jules. I'm your sonic host for this evening's episode of Hypnosis. I'm going to be spinning the mix on tonight's show. So sit back in that armchair and beware. Yeah. This is Glasgow in 1993. A few years ago, Glasgow was city of culture in Europe. But this year, it's city of curfew. Well, basically what's happened in Glasgow is the licensing authority have introduced a new law whereby nobody is allowed to enter clubs after 12 o'clock. Now, before people could enter right up to 2 o'clock in most clubs, but now it means that anybody who wants to go out for a dance has to be out and into a club before 12, and there's no getting in at all after midnight. This new licensing thing is outrageous. It's just going to kill it because the whole point of going to clubs, you don't, you don't go and, like, it's just being held down, like... You want to be able to go at freedom, you know, you, I mean, I want to go to three clubs tonight, I don't want to just go to one club a night. I mean, I might stay in that club, but I want that to be my choice. There are still quite a few things that are happening that are quite positive and new. I mean, obviously it's affected a lot of the club culture and it's, a lot of clubs have died a bit. But, I mean, here we've got the lounge, which is um, a recent project by Colin Barr. <laughs> The reason that it works for the column is that, um, I mean, everybody has to make money, but if that's your sole element in life, then forget it. You walk into any of Colin's bars, like, damn champagne! <laughs> in this tennis best, we like to be catalysts. You know, we like to be the first to, to, to get onto a new sort of idea. We've gone from the house thing all to the other now, so I'm not sure rock, soul music, reggae, some dance stuff. The difference between last year and this year is, is like night and day. Now it's people start to talk and get back and, and, and sort of meet. Like back to the old age where you go out and uh, kill a bud. <laughs> OK, it's Friday night. It's the start of the Clubbers weekend in Glasgow. Um, could do without the uh, curfew, but we'll still have a good time. Yeah, it's just a shame we have to leave earlier. Come to the lounge, and then head off about half eleven to the sub club. It was raving and kicking. This is Atlanta to the sub club. Harry's DJing at the moment, it's brilliant. I mean, what I like, or what I would listen to in my house, or my own taste in music works in the sub club. So it's not just DJs making records, there's a kind of band thing with groups like Angel Heart and One Dove. White Love is about purity, uh, the purity of love, purity of thought, um, the will to live. It's pop music that can exist in clubs, it's not club music that can exist in the pop world. We do enjoy the ambiguity of, of using drug references, and we do um, work with it, but it's... All the lyrics are, are deeply personal. Uh, we worked with Andrew Weatherall. So Andy was more of a uh, Phil Spector figure, rather than a DJ. We'd never have got Andy in if we thought, hey, we need a DJ in to teach us how to, how to groove. It's like, no, it wasn't like that at all. It's like a, a, a fourth member of the band. Um, Basically, we all put our parts down and he's trying to put some of his parts down. You get a sad notion that he's part kale himself, <laughs> but it's the wind of it. It's sad. Like, oh, it's so sad. I don't think we fit into the club culture anymore. It's like right inside that club. It's always like, uh, what happens after the club? That's where we fit in. The same frequency have been about for three years and it's been our Scottish audiences that have pushed us to the level we've achieved now. We've been playing with other rave acts like Enjoy, Shades of Rhythm for the same time that they've been about and it's only up until three months ago, which is nearly three years, that we've actually broken nationally. We've never strived for credibility and credibility is something that comes through the the music press writing good things about you. We've never had that when you're selling loads of records. People suddenly think you're credible. So, credibility is just pretentious nonsense. The things because they are the run record rave of Scotland. I'm Michael Kilke. 
a DJ in the channel, the sub club, whatever else in Scotland will take me. The tunnel is completely crazy. This is the busiest night it's ever been. It's mad. Just because I love the place, man. It's happening. <laughs> it's a harness. This is the place to be. I enjoy being at my home base, seeing all the people I know standing on the dance floor with their hands in the air. I put out records in limbo and so my records. You've had your sort of techno, your progressive. We'd like to say it's your a deep filling sandwich house. Even being linked for the shop is good because basically I'm a DJ and it helps to get records first before anyone else does. We're from 23rd Precinct Limbo Records, Glasgow. I think there's so many talented DJs up here, first of all, and I think they've looked at acts like Havana and Gypsy for inspiration and now everybody wants to be involved. In and out of the shop, it's just like DJs and artists and a, co a collection of super egos. We were the first sort of uh, dance music label in Glasgow, you know, and I think a lot of people get scared of, you know, realise it could be done once we've done it. You know, we're, we're not the most successful, but, you know, um, people just see somebody else doing something, think they can do it, and, and it's just a catalyst, a catalyst type of thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to be snobby about it, but it's just like we do what we want to do. Uh, Neoclassical, postmodernist, cubist house music. It's a very definite sound. We are trying to push barriers and like keep things firmly rooted in the underground. And if things happen to go overground, then that's great. We underground dub music, and it's the best club to be. On a regular basis, we've had performance artists into the club. Um, the two or three guys usually turn up, and we have no control over what they do every week. About it, have a good time and look at it. And it's something that you don't more interest in to look at, you know. I come here every Friday to travel down to Aberdeen. The Slam Boys are excellent, best DJs around. Huge, huge is the only word for this club. It's huge. Two o'clock in Glasgow, Slam, after all the fun, is now coming to an end. European City of Culture 1990, European City of Non-Culture 1993, Councillor Coleman has got no soul man. Because Paul's been on the road, we've asked him to, uh, to go off and decide if, if he thinks there's any tracks on the new album that he, he particularly would like to have a crack at remixing. What I want to do on these mixes is actually take it a step further from where the band are, but incorporate what's going on. So it's not just taking the mix and, and making it work in the club, it's taking what I've got and building on it. I mean, Crash Calm, musically, I'm really excited about that track, because I'm I'm it's going to be so out there. It's exciting now. I think the DJs are being taken a lot more seriously because they do know what's going on. You're, you're directly in touch with the crowd. You know what works, what doesn't work. We're interested to see what someone else can do to one of our songs and, and um, you know, what, what they can bring out of it that we didn't see before. People like to dance to rock and roll, it's just that the record didn't, didn't work in clubs. So it's got to be a trip, it's got to be some kind of roller coaster ride. You're really kind of entrusting it to a foster parent and, uh, you know, you have to feel good about the foster parent. I think Paul. You know, he respects the original parents of, of, of the music. I'm just going to strip it all down and try to change it. <laughs> so it could be the start of a beautiful relationship. That was a great thrill for me, to meet you on Limited. Na, 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 na. No, 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 no. 
Toast Unlimited. Na, 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 there's no limit. And she does that all the time. Techno, 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 techno. I particularly like the techno, 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 techno lyric, which we discussed at length. They're a decent group. They're okay, they're all right group. Yeah, they really are bad because they're such. But um, I think they got a lot of talent, especially the woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As if Stock Aiken and Waterman gave me a contract, I could probably do just the same if the music was right. Uh, 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 uh. No, they are very good. The music's good. Um, trendy, boppy, very nightclub kind of orientated music. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, but uh, I hope that this band uh, can die, you know, yeah, and uh, that's it, that's it. Don't forget to check out my top three records on the chart line. They're Kim Beecham, True Love from Birmingham. Also, Outland presents Mood to Feeling, a great new Dutch record out of Amsterdam. And finally, before I chuck it towards the man over there, in a very funky style and fashion, it's the Snake Charmer EP. That's Carpe Diem, UK styly. You can also catch me on Kiss FM 100 in London and the home county, 7.15 till 10 on a Friday night. Lock it in. The bud has made my skull numb, therefore I am numb skull, number one. But the bitches can call me money. I think in America people just think PM Dawn, the overall perception of PM Dawn right now is just plain odd. <laughs> 